Hello and welcome to our Arcsite short video series. In today's episode 1 we are going to be showing you how MitreTech framework and visualizations can be used with top threat intel provider open source crowdsourced MISP circle for true zero day protection. My name is Emra Halpa. I'm a senior product manager with Arcsite Global Content and Connectors. I'm a big Mitre Tech fanatic and I like sports, especially volleyball and soccer. So in today's agenda, we will walk you through how Mitre Tech knowledge is the only thing that you need in your security operations center, especially with level one analysts who may not have that much of an experience with any other security tool, but using the Mitre Attack visualization and some basic knowledge of that framework, they can find and sift through different attacks. In this case, we are going to be focusing on a spare phishing attachment. Uh, in today's, uh, I guess, day and age, we are uh, every day waking up to one of those coronavirus related attacks. And, and again, today's video will focus on one of those. And we will actually reveal that it was a true zero day confirming it through the MISP Circle Threat Intel integration. Virus Total, although I'm a big fan of it, it's not always the uh, number one truth. In this case, it will actually sh show us that it is indeed a valuable tool. However, it may not be uh, as powerful in detecting those zero days because it depends on uh, previous knowledge of the attacks from the other antivirus vendors. So let's start with the live demo. I'm going to be opening up my ArcSight Command Center, which is a web UI, to show an overall picture of what's happening in my environment right now in real time. These are some of the widgets that greet me. Uh, these are some of the suspicious addresses, some mitre attack uh, tactics sorted by, again, tactic or technique ID uh, at the bottom right, with some of the top top target IPs that are being targeted right now. However, I'm going to be spending my time more on my favorite visualization. This visualization shows those 266 techniques that are uh, in my threat attack matrix, actually in a, in my opinion, much better way by only focusing on those techniques and tactics that are relevant to you right at this time in this moment. So these are those, I would say, maybe 15 different techniques that are being actively exploited in my environment for the last two days. And I can click on these rules uh, by closing the legend and find out what's actually happening. Because it's real time, it refreshes itself. Some egress communication happening. This is a technique again. Again, the first branch was the tactic the persistence, defense evasion, which is very important. But the techniques is the low level information that the analyst really desperately needs. So I'm going to be clicking on the spare phishing attachment and it will show me all those rules, real time rules that result in this. But before I do that, I'm going to take some additional information on this spare phishing attachment attack. What is this? I can read more about it and learn some of the threat actors that are actually uh, quite uh, sophisticated in this uh, attack technique and I can learn actually more information as to how to mitigate this and uh, detect this if I wanted to. But we are not going to spend too much time on that today and go back to our demo. And after clicking on it, I can click on one of the generated rules, which actually was generated today in real time. It's a advanced correlation rule. So by clicking on it, I will be able to see all the events that uh, only resulted in that specific MITRE technique. Once the events load, I will pause my screen and, and uh, start investigating what's uh, cooking. So as you can see, there are some of these uh, destination domains that have been sent. All these alerts are actually relevant. They are important because uh, our threat intel feed has told me that this is a suspicious activity. It's a suspicious file hash activity, either because of the uh, attachment or the URL that has the uh, file that is the, the bad file hash. So I can sift through these, uh, I guess, and find out uh, who has been targeted, uh, Jimmy H, uh, I guess Knorr, and then we can find the file names that have been used, in this case COVID solution and coronavirus affected crew. So actually this one 
piques my attention what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some additional checkup using a virus total integration command so it's a very um, I guess unique tool where you find out what else the world is saying about this well it seems uh, 60 antivirus engines uh, have uh, tried this and 32 of them have identified this as a true positive it is a big problem yes uh, it's only been three days but it's a big enough uh, problem and um, most of the antivirus vendors are detecting this as a bad file a malicious file thank you very much we can continue our investigation like that you know uh, continue with maybe another one and uh, so that we have that second confirmation there you go we actually in this time didn't uh, at this time didn't get that confirmation so why not is this a false positive or uh, is this something else what I'm going to do is now I'm going to uh, select for example this Excel file or uh, I don't know this PDF uh, so it doesn't matter you can pick any one of these and uh, go to MISP circle website in order to understand what's actually the problem you can paste the hash in there and say filter and all of a sudden uh, you will be taken to this page where additional information is being provided on that specific file hash that you have pasted it seems it's a malicious Excel uh, again uh, in this COVID world these days and it's only two days old it's a very recent activity I can click on this and get more information about this indicator ID so when I click on it I can see that it's a malicious Excel again let's search for our uh, file hash sure enough it's down there it's an actually MD5 it's a payload delivery and it's a confirmation actually from yesterday today is 31st of March it's only been one day which explains why virus total probably did not have any information on this uh, before we came to this uh, page so again let's do that one more time just to make sure virus total has nothing about this uh, file hash yet it is still a true positive because it has been identified as a known COVID coronavirus related activity so I'm not going to spend too much time showing you what else is possible within this Mist Circle website that is uh, probably the scope of another video yet suffice to say that it's uh, made the world of threat intel a lot more accessible to the world by making it a free platform which has a, a big encyclopedia of uh, indicators true there are some false positives perhaps again that's the beauty of uh, public threat intel yet it is the, perhaps the arguably the most up-to-date uh, of those public threat intel feeds with these zero days that are being uh, shown to you and being coming to arc site in real time that is the uh, I guess important message that we are trying to give here not that the MISP circle is a very good public threat intel field uh, feed but also ArcSight has these built-in out-of-the-box solutions that focus on this threat intel feed by replicating those IPs domain names and addresses what have you by uh, uh, synchronizing with those databases in real time as you can see there's these quite a number of I guess the last couple of days we have been updating our database with these corona related domain names which is actually quite on the rise these days so again you can get a little more information on what else uh, which which other uh, campaigns these uh, indicators are being used in uh, Stefan Fish, Carlos Guerrera so um, again this is the probably the investigation for another time but as you can see MISP circle integration gave ArcSight that edge when it comes to detecting a true zero-day attack which was not available from any other antivirus vendor so that ends our live demo just to recap uh, we mentioned three crowdsourced initiatives today uh, they are all defensive technologies that should help in maturing your SOC MITRE ATTACK which is a solid framework to build your defenses with followed by MISP CIRCLE which is a top quality threat intel feed provider with thousands of users providing real-time input on a consistent and daily basis I must say it has a cult following and its indicators are also MITRE compatible SIGMA which is something we didn't mention today which we will do in a future video but suffice to say that this has also taken the world of sim content developers by fire 
In the end, SecOps maturity is a race against time. Can we bring down the dwell time? Can we bring down the detection time? What should I do? How should I layer my multiple analytics to achieve the highest level of protection and detection levels? Well, at ArcSight, we are going through a revolution by coupling the industry's arguably the most powerful correlation engine with Intersets machine learning technology. On top, we are bringing search and hunt capabilities to complete the layers so that humans and computers can live together, excelling at what they do best. Thank you very much for being with us today. We are very much looking forward to meeting with you in a future video like this, showing real world use cases from the world's real security operation centers. You may subscribe to this YouTube channel for faster notifications or check our blog for more information. Until next time, stay safe.